टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ग्लूकोमा मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ग्लूकोमा इंक्लूड्स फॉलोइंग मेजर्स वन फार्माकोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट व्हिच इंक्लूड्स टॉपिकल ड्रग्स एंड सिस्टेमिक ड्रग्स टू सर्जिकल ट्रीटमेंट थ्री लेजर ट्रीटमेंट एंड फोर लाइफ स्टाइल मोडिफिकेशन फार्माकोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट फार्माकोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट इज बेस्ड ऑन थ्री प्रिंसिपल्स वन रिड्यूसिंग एक्वास प्रोडक्शन टू इंक्रीजिंग एक्वास आउटफ्लो दैट कैन बी अचीव्ड बाय ए इंक्रीजिंग एक्वास आउटफ्लो बी इंक्रीजिंग इवियोस्कुलरल आउटफ्लो थ्री इंक्रीजिंग ब्लड ऑस्मोलरिटी एंड ड्रेन एक्वास थ्रू बीट्रेस नाउ टॉपिकल ड्रग्स टॉपिकल ड्रग्स इंक्लूड बीटा ब्लॉकर्स एडेनर्जिक एगोनिस्ट प्रोस्टाग्लेंडिन एनालॉग कोलिनर्जिक एजेंट्स एंड कार्बोनिक एंड हाइड्रेस इनहेबिटर्स now beta blockers in ciliary body of the eye there are beta adrenergic receptors when these receptors are stimulated by a neurotransmitter called epinephrine it increases the production of aqueous humor beta blockers like timololol are applied topically as eye drops these eye drops work by blocking the beta adrenergic receptors in ciliary body by blocking these receptors beta blockers reduce the stimulatory effect of epinephrine and related compounds on the ciliary body this in turn leads to decrease in production of aqueous humor less aqueous humor production results in reduction in intraocular pressure these are the example of beta blockers contraindication of beta blockers asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease bradycardia or heart block heart failure pregnancy and breastfeeding now adrenergic agonist adrenergic receptors are present in the ciliary body of the eye when adrenergic receptor in the ciliary body are activated they inhibit the production of aqueous humor adrenergic agonist eye drops mimic the action of norepinephrine or epinephrine and activating adrenergic receptor in the eye Stimulation of adrenergic receptors leads to reduced production of aqueous humor. With decreased aqueous humor production, there is a subsequent reduction in intraocular pressure. It also lowers the IOP by increasing uveoscleral outflow by an increase in prostaglandin synthesis. These are the example of adrenergic agonist. Contraindication of adrenergic agonist are cardiovascular disease hyperthyroidism diabetes corneal abrasion angle closure glaucoma psychiatric patient pregnancy and breastfeeding now cholinergic agent they work in two mechanism one contraction of iris splinter contraction of iris splinter constrict the pupil that mechanically moves the iris root away from the trabecular meshwork that increase aqueous outflow and decrease iop two contraction of ciliary muscle contraction of longitudinal fibers of the ciliary muscles produce tension on the scleral spur and facilitating aqueous outflow which in turn decrease iop here are the example of cholinergic agents contraindication of cholinergic agent angle closure glaucoma iris bump asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease bradycardia and heart block gastrointestinal disorders now prostaglandin analog they work in two mechanism one increase uveoscleral outflow prostaglandin stimulates collagenase and metalloproteinase to degrade the intercellular matrix between ciliary muscle bundles which in turn leads to reduction of hydraulic resistance of uveoscleral flow ultimately increase uveoscleral outflow true relaxation of ciliary muscles prostaglandin analogs exert their effects by interacting with receptors in ciliary muscles when prostaglandin analogs bind to these receptors they cause the ciliary muscles to relax this relaxation has dual effect a it widens the drainage pathway facilitating the outflow of aqueous humor b it decreases the resistance to fluid flow which further promotes drainage these are the example of prostaglandin analog contraindication of prostaglandin analog active ocular infections 
ocular inflammation, pregnancy and breastfeeding, cystoid macular edema, cataract surgery planning, and iris abnormalities. Now, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. They help in reduction of aqueous humor production. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors work by inhibiting the enzyme carbonic anhydrase within the ciliary body. This enzyme plays a role in the production of aqueous humor. When carbonic anhydrase is inhibited, the production of aqueous humor slows down. As a result, there is less fluid entering the eye, which subsequently reduces IOP. These are the example of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Contraindication of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors Electrolyte imbalance, liver disease, renal impairment, dehydration, pregnancy and breastfeeding. Now, systemic drugs, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. They lower the IOP by diuretic effect. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors also have a diuretic effect, meaning they promote the extraction of fluid from the body, including aqueous humor. This further decreases the volume of fluid within the eye, which reduces the IOP also. These are the example of systemic carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Contraindication of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors Electrolyte imbalance, liver disease, renal impairment, dehydration, pregnancy and breastfeeding. Now, osmotic agents Osmotic effect Hyperosmotic agents such as mannitol and glycerin have a high osmotic concentration compared to the fluid inside the eye. When these agents are administered intravenously, they create an osmotic gradient, drawing fluid out of the intraocular tissues into the bloodstream. This results in a temporary reduction in the volume of aqueous humor within the eye. Dehydration of intraocular tissues As fluid is drawn out of the eye due to osmotic effect, the intraocular tissues including ciliary body lose water content. This leads to reduction in the production of aqueous humor which is primarily produced by the ciliary body. A decrease in aqueous humor production results in lower IOP. These are the example of osmotic agents. Intravenously, we have mannitol, urea, and orally glycerol isosorbide. Contraindication of osmotic agents. Renal impairment, congestive heart failure, pulmonary edema, dehydration, electrolyte imbalance. In the next video, I will discuss about surgical management of glaucoma. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.